So in about eight hours, my wife and I leave for Lake Tahoe. Last night, we basically finished most of our packing. Most of our clothes are packed and other things like that. But I haven't been able to skate for the past like several days, and I really wanted to get a skate session in before we left because I'm not taking my skateboard. This is just a pure vacation trip. No skateboarding while I'm there. So I figured I'd come to the skate park and get a skate session in this morning. So let's go skate. Everything that you just saw spread out on the table is all my camera gear and equipment that I need for this trip. And thankfully, all of this is going to fit in my personal item, which is my book bag or my skate bag that I take with me every day when I go out to film my normal videos. The only things you didn't see in that were the camera that I'm using right now and the tripod that I'm using right now. But everything else is all going to fit in that bag and it's going to be perfect and everything should fit nice and snug. It's just about big enough to fit everything that I need to film this trip. It's currently 11 o'clock, so I have about four or so hours left before April and I need to be heading to the airport. One of my parents, I'm not sure who, is gonna be chauffeuring us to the airport and dropping us off. And then we're kinda on our own from there. As you can see from the title of this video, April and I have never been on a plane alone before. So this whole experience is gonna be kinda stressful but exciting at the same time. I have been on a plane twice, but both times were with like groups of people chaperoned by other adults. My senior year of high school, I took like a band school senior trip to Chicago with my band director. And then my freshman year of college, the wind ensemble that I was in, took a European tour where we started in Austria, made our way down through uh, Italy. So that was crazy. But again, both times I didn't really have to do anything because I was chaperoned by other adults that knew the flight process. But this time we're all alone. We've got to get through the airport, get through security, find our gate and do everything on our own. And for those of you that are frequent flyers, that might seem really easy to you, but for somebody or for people like us that have never done that before, we're kind of scared. The thing we're scared about most is just getting through security and making sure we've crossed our I's and dotted our T's, make sure we're not carrying anything that we're not supposed to. Hopefully everything goes out okay. And I just wanted to document this process. That's really what this video is all about. It's just our first time on an airplane alone. So as of now, my bag that I usually take to skate and film is completely empty, except for the skate items that I usually have. But this isn't a skateboarding trip. I'm not even bringing my skateboard. So all I gotta do is empty out all my skate stuff, throw all this in my bag, make sure all my camera batteries and drone batteries are charged, ready to go. And then I'm packed and we should be good to go. And then we just got to, it's just a waiting game for one of my parents to go pick us up and take us to the airport. So wish us luck. <laughs> Definitely kind of ridiculous. 
and we got through security super quick, faster than we thought we would, but we're here. I think we're gonna go get some Wendy's, right? Maybe for dinner. And first we gotta go find our gate, make sure we know where we're going. But so far, so good. Things are going well, so let's go. So we finally touched down in Reno. We just got to a uh, shuttle, and it's, I think it's one of the last shuttles of the night. And it's supposed to be for the flight crew, but the driver was kind enough to let us ride with him so we don't have to worry about getting a taxi or an Uber to our hotel for the night. So that is very nice. The driver was super sweet, so we made it. <laughs> it is currently 1222, but for us, because of the three hour time change, it feels like it is 322. So we are exhausted. Our usual bedtime is like 10 o'clock. So this is pushing it for us. I've got to get up pretty early in the morning to go get the rental car. And then we're on our way down to Lake Tahoe. As of right now, I'm not sure how many videos are actually going to get made from this Lake Tahoe trip that April and I are taking. But if you don't want to miss out on any of the travel content, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.